And how to draw diagrams? I mean, I, I have a rule where your uh, a research paper cannot be less than 10 diagrams. And, and let me tell you that diagrams are very important in, in showing another person what you have done. And diagrams are the most uh, reused um, uh, thing in a research paper, but you will get credit because the person who's reusing your, your diagram has to cite you. So the more citations you get, the better you are going to look, right? So diagrams are, are the key to getting recognized. And we teach them how to draw that uh, using uh, a tool called BioRender, which has like, for example, if you're doing some research on insects or anything, you, you have those kind of uh, pictures uh, so you can drag and drop them and create your own pictures here and if you see here they have like receptors and ligands anything that you want will be there okay and I have students who've taken it much further and done a great job and I invite them back to like they know more about us but our our creative writers know how to use BioRender we teach them if it is AI then we use draw.io because this is for biology for business also, uh, we use draw.io, okay? And for nano and other things, we use uh, different um, like draw.io to uh, draw pictures. So that's very, very important. Without 10 pictures, we are not going to approve their research paper, okay? And then um, graphs. I mean, graphs are like supremely in important. Even a scattergram, my, my student did a scattergram and it came out like, he was like amazed with those results. So, so they have to create graphs. Is it a bar graph? They cannot, they're not allowed to copy and paste anything from anywhere. They, they have, if they collected data, then they have to regurgitate and create their own graph because that is their contribution. Again, graphs are another thing that gets cited very, very easily, that gets used in other people's research. So graphs are very, very important, uh, which we recommend they have. I, if there is a table, then uh, the student is, 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 will be called and asked to redo the table to convert it into a graph. Okay, so that's how we do research. We will have tables, but there should be, this is how students show their contribution, right? Their results, right? So this is a critical component in uh, writing a research paper. And cita citations, we do have um, like ready-made tools that we use where you can, you can put the link of the research paper and it'll automatically create the citation because the format of the citation is very important. This is APA citation, which is basically, uh, they expect all the authors to be there. Uh, in the in the citation, then uh, the name of the journal, the year that it was done, right? And and the link. Uh, okay, so so we we help students create uh, the APA citation. There are tools for that, which is pretty easy. But we verify that. Okay, there are also in text citation. Like sometimes um, this is like outside of the the last part of the research paper where they have citations. But sometimes they if they've referenced uh, a research in the paragraph then they need to do in-text citation. We teach them that as well, okay? But it's too deep for this thing. Then our, our professors, our, our creative writers do something like the crap test, <laughs> it is that. Uh, basically, um, it's, 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 it's a very popular test that every, I mean, even, even the people, sorry, the journal where you're planning to publish, they're gonna do that. This is the way your, your journal is going to get approved. I'm sorry, your research paper approval. It's the crap test. Currency, uh, when was the information published? Um, does it relate to the topic? Whatever is inside your research paper, does it, does it uh, uh, relate to the topic? Who wrote the information? Who, you wrote it. How did you write it? Right? Is the information accurate or true? Right? Accuracy is there. And purpose, why does this information um, exist. Okay, so my, our, our creative writers do the crap test. And also we check for chat GPT. Given a chance, uh, the whole research paper can be run, written in chat GPT by a student and it'll get picked up and it'll get rejected. My student failed uh, AP computer science principles exam because 
the AI found that my student had plagiarized or, or something that was ChatGPT written. So we don't accept that. We will tell you the, the level at which um, it, it has been written by AI. We have tolerance. So the professors will do that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.